Growing microorganisms is sort of like raising pets. You have to give them the right kind of food and grow them at a temperature they like to be successful. You can actually do this in your own house by making homemade petri plates containing a growth medium you can make using water, bouillon cubes, sugar, and either gelatin or agar agar. Now for the plates themselves, you can either use real petri dishes or you can use Tupperware containers or even muffin tins work if you seal them in a plastic baggie. So to get started, the first thing you want to do is add your water to something that you can, either a pan you can um, boil on the stove or a microwavable container. Then add a bouillon cube and two teaspoons of sugar. Now the sugar and the bouillon cubes are some of the food that we're feeding our microorganisms. Finally, you want to add either one and a half packages of gelatin, plain gelatin, or a tablespoon of agar agar. Now agar agar is made from algae and you can find it in the, in the Asian section of a number of grocery stores. The great thing about agar agar is that unlike gelatin, it won't melt at high temperatures. Agar agar also isn't broken down by some microorganisms. Gelatin plates can get broken down by bacteria and actually sort of liquefy. So if you can find it, agar agar is fantastic. If not, you can go with gelatin. It'll work just fine. So I'm going to take this mixture of microbe food over to the microwave and alternately cook it and stir it. Make sure an adult um, supervises this part because the agar agar gets very hot. When your agar or gelatin has dissolved, cover it loosely with aluminum foil and let it cool for a few minutes. Then you can start pouring your plates. Remove the cover. Take your petri dishes. These are sections so I have to pour three times. And pour in about an eighth to a quarter of an inch of growth medium. Then you want to be sure to cover your plate and set it down to cool and the gelatin or agar will then harden and you'll end up with a jello-like substance. Like I said before, you can also use Tupperware. Tupperware works perfectly fine or plasticware. Just pour in some growth medium. Don't seal the top, loosely cover them. Or you can even use a metal muffin tin, pour your medium in and then cover it loosely or just put it right in a plastic bag to cool. When your plates are cool, you're ready to take your samples. Take your plate. If there's condensation or water on the lid, just wipe it off with a paper towel. Grab a Q-tip and start sampling. You can test different surfaces around your house, like telephones or light switches or computer keyboards. Take your Q-tip you used to take the sample, label your plate, take the lid off, and gently swab this Q-tip onto the plate. You're putting microbes on the plate. Now, when your samples are all done, take your plate, put it on a countertop out of the way, and let your microbes grow. After several days, you should start to see small white and yellow bacterial colonies forming. And if you leave your plates for a while, you might see large, fuzzy, colorful fungal colonies as well. So, junior microbiologist, what are you waiting for? Make some plates and take some samples. Get your